If you are struggling to get higher FPS on your PC while you play games, so today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can increase FPS, fix FPS drops and stutters using Razer Cortex on your any PC or laptop. This optimization technique works with your any PC, so make sure to watch my this whole video and video seeing any time, let's dive straight into it. Gear Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you're playing games using your wired or wireless connection. This is the one of the best programs for rerouting your network and help you to connecting with the nearest server of the game for achieving the better ping with lower input delay. So guys, make sure to check out the link in the description for downloading this tool and enjoy the free trial using my link in the description. So guys, before going straight to the Razer Cortex, I'm gonna show you a hidden and important setting for your windows, how you can disable the power throttling on your windows. So for that, go for your windows search and search for registry editor and make sure to run this as administrator. And now from here, you need to follow the simple path. So go for the HK local machine, then go for system, current control set 001, control, now scroll down and find out here power, click on this drop down and there you will find our power throttling. Go for this option and there you will find out this registry which is the power throttling off. So double tap here and put here this value which is the one for disabling the power throttling on your windows. After that hit ok and close out registry editor. Now in the next step guys you need to download the Razer Cortex on your PC, link available down in the description and join my discord server. There you will find out this download channel and there you will find out Razer Cortex installation file for gaming and performance and make sure to download the same exact exe file of the Razer Cortex. So simply click on this download button and download this file on your PC. After downloading the Razer Cortex on your PC, now here you will go to this exe file. You need to double tap on this installation, hit yes. Now here in the installation window, you need to choose here the Razer Cortex only and check mark on this box. After that, uncheck all these boxes and click on the install button. Click on the skip and continue for skipping all the other installation files and this will start downloading Razer Cortex on your PC. After downloading an installation, here you will find out this interface. Now check mark on the launch Razer Cortex and click on get started. After installation, here you will find this kind of the interface. Now you need to click on the sign up button and log in here your account using your Google, Facebook or your Twitch ID. Or you can simply go for the continue as guest. And after that, here is the optimization window for the Razer Cortex. Now the very first step here is my library section where you will find out your all the available game or installed game of your PC. So now you need to go straight in the next folder, which is game booster. So go for it. And inside here, you will find out multiple options for optimization of your windows like special processes services and all this stuff you need to simply turn on this option which is the auto boost and click onto the boost now button this will automatically stop all the useless services and application of on your windows and you can check out here the release memory is around 3.68 gb which is a lot of memory for the gaming now guys you need to go for the next step which is the system booster so go for this tab and inside here you will find out system clean and here you will find a multiple option for the optimization now click on the scan button and this will start scanning all of the junk file on your windows. Once it's done, so here you will find out this clean option. Click on the screen button and this will clean all of the junk data from your PC and help you to improve in your Windows performance for gaming. After that guys, now go for the next step which is the speed up. And there you will find out multiple other optimization like disk cache optimization, desktop menu optimization, file system optimization and network optimization. Now you need to simply click on this optimize button and this will optimize all these things on your PC in just one click. So after optimization here you can check out here 27 items have been optimized. Now you need to go for the next step which is the defrag for optimization of your games. Now click on the scan button and guys here we are done. After that guys now simply minimize this application or click on this close button and this application will keep running in your background. So guys once you do all the settings of the Razer Cortex on your PC now I'm gonna show you some other settings for your windows like power plan optimization and windows graphic settings. So for that go for your windows search and search for power and sleep settings and go for it. Now go for additional power settings. Go for Razer Cortex power plan settings and click on the change plan settings. Now open up advanced power plan settings and there you will find a multiple option for the optimization. Now the very first step, here you will go to Intel Graphic Settings, go for this drop down, again go for the Intel Graphic Power Plan and set it on to the maximum performance. Now scroll down, go for Processor Power Management, click on this drop down, now go for Minimum Processor State, click on this drop down and set it on to 100%. After that, go for Maximum Processor State, click on this drop down and also set this option on to 100%. After that, hit apply and click OK and close out your power plan settings. Now in the next step, we are going to optimize the graphic settings of our windows. So right click on your desktop and go straight into the display settings. Now scroll down and go for graphic settings and there you will find out hardware accelerate GP scheduling. Make sure to turn on this option for reducing latency and improving performance. And after applying the settings, you also need to restart your PC. After that, scroll down and go for this browse option and add here your old installed game of your Windows. After adding here your that specific game exe file, now go for the option and set it on the high performance. Then hit save and close out your this window. Now in the final and the last step, we are going to stop all the background apps from our Windows forever. For that, press Windows R together from your keyboard and type here gpedit.msc and press enter. Now go for system configuration. Administrative template, 
Windows component, app privacy, then scroll down and go for let's app run in the background, double tap here, make sure to enable the settings, then go for default for all app and set it on default dinner. After that hit apply and click ok and close out your settings and now you need to one time restart your PC, then launch the Razer Cortex in your background and launch your favorite game using the Razer Cortex on your PC and enjoy the best performance out of it. I hope you love this video, please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and till the next video, peace out.